Hey guys, what's going on? Tenebris here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my 50,000 subscriber special. Yay! We hit 50k. So I did do a stream earlier. If you haven't seen that already, go check that out. That should be the previous video. But today, I'm going to show you guys my recording and render settings, because this has been highly requested by, by people. And the last time I made one of these videos was 2016. And in 2016, my render and recording set settings were way different because I used a different software and my monitor and stuff was different. Now, before I get into these render and recording settings, keep in mind that these render and recording settings are for people with pretty good processing power on their computer. So if you have a pretty bad computer, I highly recommend you do not use these settings. However, if you think that your computer is decent to good, you should use these settings because they are pretty good. So first off, we're gonna start off with the recording settings. So let me open up OBS and go into display capture. So you can see right now that I actually use a software called Streamlabs OBS, which is essentially OBS 3. There's OBS and then there's OBS Studio, which is kind of like OBS 2, and this is basically OBS 3. So Streamlabs OBS, I'll put a link to that in the description. Anyway, it inserts my chat box, alert box, browser source, that's all for streaming, but I'm just gonna go over the recording settings at the moment. So basically, uh, you can see that I'm actually going, I'm actually recording in 240 FPS, which is basically what I'm using at the moment. But let's go up to this gear right here, which is going to tell us our settings. So skip stream. If you go to output, you can see that here's streaming. These are my streaming settings, by the way. Recording. I'm recording. This is my recording path. That doesn't really matter, right? Recording format is MP4. Recording is NVENC. That's very important. Because, I don't know, if, if, I, if I set it to 264i, it gets blurry and stuff. Uh, rate controls on CBR and bitrate is 30,000, which is actually not that high. I've had it before on 35,000. But, you know, you can change it to maybe 20,000 is probably the lowest I would go. But that's how you really get that clean render. That's how you really get that clean look to the to the actual video, in my opinion. I mean, that's what, that's what people upset about my videos, that they look pretty clean. And that's how you get it. Um, in terms of the FPS, you have to go to video... And you want to make sure that you select fractional FPS type and put the numerator to 240 and the denominator to 1. And therefore, you'll get 240 FPS. Right here, I'm scaling down from uh, 2560, 1440 to 920, 1080, just because my monitor is a 1440p monitor. I have two monitors, actually, but my the one I'm using at the moment is a 1440p monitor. So you always want to do whatever resolution your monitor has up here. Um, other than that, there's not much else for me to show you in the recording settings. Let's get into the render settings. So let's... let's uh, actually use this video that I'm recording right now in Sony Vegas and we'll take a look at my render settings. All right, everyone. So I currently use Sony Vegas 14. I'm thinking about upgrading to a later version, but at the moment I use Sony Vegas 14, but most of this stuff shouldn't change between different versions of Sony Vegas. Anyway, let's take a look at my render settings. Now, I actually have three different render presets, and this is because uh, depending on the length of the video, I actually render at different bit rates. So I know that, for example, some people think that a super high bit rate doesn't really matter, which is kind of true. However, I do like it because it does actually improve quality I've seen. But let's take a look. So if you click render as, you can see that I have three settings here. Uh, high, medium, and modded. Now for modded, I use, I use that for my 30 minute videos for it to render very quickly. And then I have a medium setting for kind of 10 minute videos, which ren render slower than the 30 minute ones, but still faster than the short ones. And then I have a high normal one for my normal kind of commentary videos that are like three minutes. So basically, Modded one, my bitrate, and by the way, here's the recording render settings for modded. This is just the first one I'm going to show you guys. Uh, you can see that the frame rate is at 60 FPS. The profile is high. The frame size is 1440p. The, and, and you make sure that you select constant bitrate is at 28 million. And variable bitrate I used to have on, but I turned that off because apparently constant bitrate makes it look a lot better. All right, and then the second one is basically the exact same thing, except it's at 50 million bitrate. And my normal one, which is does take a lot of time for it to complete, is at 135 million bitrate at constant speed. Uh, if you go into Project Properties here, if you go to File and Properties, you can see Project pro Properties. Now, this is my Project Properties. You can see that I'm at 240 FPS. This is what the, what the uh, footage is. You can see that I'm using Smart Resample. Now, I do occasionally go here and right-click on here and click properties and disable resample. However, I don't do that that often. I kind of just leave it how it is because it does actually add a decent motion blur. A lot of people don't like that, but I think it looks kind of cool. It, it doesn't like destroy the screen or anything when you turn side to side or move at all. So it is pretty good. But um, 
yeah, if you have any more questions about my render settings, let me know in the comments. I, I think I went over most of everything. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for 50K, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.